This patient with thyroid eye disease has pronounced upper lid retraction. The upper lid skin creases have been marked. Subcutaneous local anaesthetic with adrenaline is injected. The skin and orbicularis are incised with a number 15 blade. Dissection through orbicularis onto tarsal plate is seen on the fellow eye. The tarsal plate is exposed and the superior third of the tarsal plate is cleared across its full width. A 4 silk traction suture is placed into the pretarsal orbicularis muscle. The levator aponeurosis is dissected from Muller's muscle, which can be recognised by the vascular arcade on its anterior surface. Muller's muscle will be transected and can bleed profusely. Therefore, a line of cautery is placed. This can be a little uncomfortable to the patient, which is improved with a drop of topical anaesthetic. The inferior end of Muller's muscle is dissected off conjunctiva and the cornea can be seen through the almost transparent conjunctiva. The lid lowering is achieved by the titrated dissection of Muller's muscle off the underlying conjunctiva. A small conjunctival buttonhole has been inadvertently created, which is not problematic. At intervals during the surgery, the theatre light is removed, the traction suture is released and the lid height and profile are assessed with the patient's eyes in primary position. The lid is still too high, but has a good contour. To lower the lid further, the lateral and medial horns are transected and Muller's muscle dissected from conjunctiva further superiorly. One pitfall of upper lid lowering is the tendency to flatten the lid profile. This can be avoided by ensuring that the medial and lateral portions of Muller's muscle have been adequately recessed. The lid is now sitting just below the limbus and retains a good contour, but ideally needs to drop another millimeter. The dissection is now approaching the conjunctival fornix and access is improved with a Damar retractor. Further steps, if a further release is required, are blunt dissection between the Muller's levator muscle complex and the underlying common sheath, or partial or complete Mullerectomy. The desired lid height and contour have now been achieved. The skin is closed with 6-0 continuous locking nylon sutures. Lid lowering surgery tends to raise the skin crease, as the skin crease is primarily formed by insertion of the now recessed aponeurosis. Various techniques have been described to introduce a lower skin crease, such as suturing skin and orbicularis to the underlying tarsal plate, or interposing the pre-apo fat pad. But here, tension is introduced into the locking suture, causing the skin and muscle to be pulled back against the convex surface of the tarsal plate. The patient is seen here pre-operatively and six weeks post-operatively.